Hello, I am Inya Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and I know it's been a long time since I've made a Cinema 4D tutorial, but today is the day I'm going to make a new Cinema 4D tutorial uh, of hopefully many others. So today we are going to take a look at how to create some nice looking metal textures for our text in intros and still images. For this example, we are going to use a still image. We are not going to animate our text or so, but we might just do that in a different video. So right now we are just going to take a look on how to create our text and how to create our texture and light it and do all the nice things to create some nice looking text and that looks like metal. So uh, we are going to start with a new window here. So just go to uh, file new and we're going to start off with a MoGraph mo text and we're going to change the text to this middle over here we're going to enter our text here so i'm going to use mr godly um, by the way mr godly is my gamer's name i just restarted my gaming channel so um the goal is to really start up that channel again and post a lot of gaming videos so it will be great if you guys would just check out that channel the link will be in the description uh it's pretty new right now because I, I didn't upload on it for five years but right now I'm determined to really upload frequently and often um, to upload frequently and hopefully you guys can check it out support me a little bit and maybe even give me feedback that would be great if you would do that um, yeah so so the shameless self-advertisement is done we can continue with our tutorial hopefully you didn't mind uh, but I would be grateful if, we, if you would just check it out okay so I uh, continue the tutorial we're going to change our font to something different here I'm going to be using big noodle titling I really like that font here so that's this one here and I'm going to change it to a regular style not oblique and yeah now what once we have done that we can change our depth to maybe 40 and we can see that our edges of our text are way too sharp nothing in real life has these sharp edges so we need to add some bevel to our text doing that is go uh, by going to cap uh, caps over here and the start and end will change it to a fillet cap uh, but doing that increases the size of our text we don't want to uh, we don't want to increase the size of our text so the only thing we have to do is go to constraint and check the constraint button right here Okay, so uh, now we have our text, pretty cool looking already. Um, if you don't want this kind of size for your text, you can just decrease it uh, to like two if you don't want it to be uh, that obvious. But I would definitely suggest using the caps uh, no matter what kind of text you want to use. Even if you want to use like a very, very small amount like this one, you, you would barely see it. Um, but you would definitely see it with light. So it's very important to have something some kind of uh, radius over here so i'm going to change it back to five because i liked it uh, like this okay and if we zoom out we have our text right here but if we zoom back in we can see on the edges uh, the edges of the bevels that it's still too sharp and i don't really like it uh, i want to make it a little bit more detailed uh, than this and the, the I want to make it a little bit more detailed than it already is. Uh, doing that in Cinema 4D R16, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you don't have Cinema 4D R16, you'll have to try and find other solutions to do this. Uh, but I'm going to show it for R16. Um, so if we go back over here, we can see uh, the bevel deformer right over here. If we click on that, we drop it in our text. We can see that it's going to split our text or so and you can look through our text which is frankly a pretty cool looking effect but it's definitely not the effect we're looking for and we need to solve this so we are going to pull it back out again and then we're going to uh, click on the mode text go over here and hold alt while clicking or releasing your button on the connect tool and that's going to uh, make it a yeah parent of our mode text and again, we can see a different kind of effect, which we do not like, um, but that will be solved right away. Uh, if we click on our connect tool, we want to group this connect tool. So it's in a different uh, group by holding alt and pressing G on the keyboard. Now, if we toggle this down, we have our group or connect and our text. The thing we should do is get the bevel deformer into the group. So it's applying to the connect. So pretty simple. Um, but that's what it does so right again we can see a different kind of effect which doesn't look too great but we can solve this by simply going to use angle and it's already solved and another thing we want to do is change the offset to something subtle like 0.3 and now you can see it's a lot more detailed it's yeah 
more realistic by, because right now we have your text, a big bevel, and on the big bevel, you still have a small bevel. So that's looking pretty nice. Okay, so uh, now that's done and we have our text. We can continue on making our texture for our text. And doing that is by going to create new material, double click on the material and maybe rename it to metal. And there we go. And now we can see in the reflectance channel, if you click on here, uh, well, let's do the color first, click on color, change the color to a darker gray. And if you're a big fan of metal, metal is a little bit colder of look, so you can change it to a small, slightly blue color, um, like so, okay? Uh, click OK, go to reflectance, and we see the default spectrum. Speckler here, we are going to delete this, going to add, and add a Beckman. So right now, if we're going to apply this to our text and we render this out to the picture viewer, but before we render this out to the picture viewer, we are going to uh, enable render settings, click on the render settings and change the output to a full HD to 1920 by 1080 um, and that's it. Okay, so close this down and if we are going to export it or before we export, we should uncheck save because now, um, well, just to be sure that it's not saving anywhere, it's just for previewing purposes. If we're going to click on this, it's going to render out here and now we can always look back at the previous versions uh, of our renders so we can really compare them together which is kind of great you should never actually render it to uh, yeah just render it in the viewer itself because you can't um, yeah compare it to next renders that you're going to make which is a better way to work in Cinema 4D so right now we can't see any text although we applied it in metal uh, well we, although we applied a texture to it uh, the reason why is we do uh, we do not have any Fresnel yet we have to go to layer Fresnel and change it to a conductor and now we can see our text right away so we are not there yet, the uh, metal look is a little bit better than yeah this one here, um, but we'll get there eventual, eventually. So click back on reflectance and now we have to play with these four settings. These are the most important settings on creating our metal look and still if we have done all of these, our text wouldn't look as close to our result and I will go over that later in this video. And so the first thing we should do is apply a specular. Uh, we're going to increase it to like 100, change the roughness to 35, the reflectance to 35 and change the bump strength uh, to a texture mode and we change the mode to custom bump map. Okay, so if you drop this down, you'll see mode custom bump map right over here. Custom texture, we want to change it to a noise and click on the noise, change this to like 10, this to 2000 or so, maybe even 1000. This would look great and then go back and change it to like minus 1.5, maybe something like this. Something really, really subtle. We don't want to overdo something. If you want to create great results, you have to play it subtle. Sometimes you will barely see any difference in your outcome, but it will really add up to the reality of your textures. Even this might be a little bit too much already. So if we're going to render this out, we can see this is our text right now. It doesn't look too great yet. Uh, but we're getting there uh, slowly but surely and uh, so we have our text over here now uh, we're going to close this down and the next thing we want to do is maybe copy this channel and paste it to the roughness channel click on it and we want to get rid of all the blacks because the blacks are uh, because whites mean the effect is applied and blacks mean the effect isn't applied but we want to apply the effect at all times just sometimes we want to apply it a little bit str stronger than other time so we're going to increase our brightness uh, a little bit like so or maybe uh, if we have it like this we can just get rid of a bit of blacks just playing around with it seeing what works maybe this works I'm not sure we'll check it out uh, right now we can't really see anything so the first thing we should do to get a result because right now it doesn't look like much we have to close this down we have we need two things we need lighting and we need uh, something to reflect our text at and reflecting our text is actually pretty simple the only thing we need is a sky with something to reflect it so if we're going to google we have to enter hdri if we enter this we're going to images here uh, we can see all the images that are made by people and these are actually spherical maps so 360 photos um, like panoramic uh, pictures made in an HDR high dynamic range um, 
which and that means and you can pick one of these images if it's just for educational purposes if you're going to use this in commercials or so make sure it's royalty free um so i'm going to use one of my uh well one i i found it's not of my own uh, i found it also on the internet um, so I'm going to check and uh, make a new material and check these two off and I'm going to the luminance check on luminance go to texture load image and I'm going to check my HDR image click open I'm not going to save it and I'm going to close this down and then I'll apply a sky over here by going to floor sky and apply this map right over here and the next thing we want to do if we render this out you'll see the background we don't want that so we are going to right click on our sky cinema 4d text going to compositing and scene by camera we are going to check this off and this means we are not going to see it in the camera but we are going to see it in the reflections and if we're going to render this again we'll see small changes like if you're going to compare to previous renders you can see uh, the reflections here on the edges um, but the text effect isn't changed much. So we need one more thing, by the way, that I forgot to do. Uh, if we click on the material, we should change the projection mode to a cubic mode. And if we're going to render this uh, again, we'll see small differences again. Okay, now we're going to close this down again. And now we need some lights. And that's actually the most important thing of this achievement. We need lights to get some really cool looking metal effects. And as you can see in my first example you can see I'm using six lights over here so uh, make sure you use a lot of lights it really adds up to the whole uh, yeah the whole image here so uh, we're going to use lights uh, we're going to use lights and shadows and also change the color of our lights to get some great results so add one light move it in front Okay, so if I'm going to move this down like so, um, and then I want to duplicate my light, but before we do that, we'll add a shadow map and also change the color to something bluish kind of, and also keep it very subtle. Don't overdo it. I've overdone it before and it does it just doesn't look so great. Uh, just keep it subtle. So we're going to click on our light, copy paste it by press, uh, pressing control C and control V on the keyboard. We're going to move this to the back and move it up like so now we have a top light to get these kind of effects over here and we're going to make this warmer by going to orange colors and yeah change it to a warm color like so and there we go we have our first two lights but we need a few more so we are going to click on our first one again copy paste it again move it to the top and move it farther away like so and maybe even move it to the left like so and then we want to add one more orange color so uh, we have we have pasted a new light we're going to change the color to a orange color again and we're going to move it to the side over here and it's just practice and experimenting so I would definitely suggest you follow this tutorial like I'm doing it right now except for the lights it doesn't really matter where they are at it's just experimenting but for the texture follow along and once you have done the tutorial I would definitely suggest trying different things trying different textures for your bump map uh, trying different uh, kind of effects and just mess around with all these settings and you're going to get different results and it might be even possible that you get better results uh, and if you do so please let me know in a video or in a in an image link it to me send it to me I would love to see your work uh, you can also like my Facebook page and on there you can post your work or so uh, so I can see what you're doing with my tutorials it would be great to see the results of people so uh, if you would like to do that that would be great okay so we have our text over here and if we're going to move back to our text let's see if we already have some nice results so we're going to uh, render this out and we can see we have already some nice looking metal colors but it's a little bit overdone right now so I'm going to go to our um, material here going to reflectance bump strength uh, maybe change it to minus one and going to the noise uh, changes to five go back go to roughness and also change this to five and now if we render this out maybe it will look a little bit better already and it does it already looks better uh, but I think we have overdone it in the um, in the roughness channel so if we click over here 
go to roughness, we'll need to add more brightness over here. So something like this might be better. And also in the bump map, maybe even lower. I think this is too much. So um, that's my personal preference. Uh, so you should do whatever you like to do. I'm going to change this to point, uh, minus 0.5. Okay, there we go. And the next thing I want to do is decrease the intensity of some lights because some lights are way too intensive like on this side of here. So uh, that's this light. So let's search for it. That's this light. And I'm going to decrease the strength of this one. And if we're zooming back in, we're going to render this out. I think this light is also a little bit too intense. So um, yeah, it's already looking pretty nice. Maybe this light should also be a little bit darker because the edges are way too obvious. So I'm going to the uh, I'm going to check all the lights, zoom out to see all the lights in my area here. And that might be tricky at sometimes, but like this light, I want to move it a little bit more towards. Um, towards here and maybe change the intensity like so and maybe we should add a camera uh, for here so we can always uh, zoom out quickly and make another camera which will be our main camera and we're going to click on this one change the coordinates to 0 uh, 0 0 0 0 and then zoom out and move up so our text is centered like this okay and now if we're going to render this out we'll see how this looks like and yeah i think we are almost there so this is looking pretty nice and another thing we can see is the edges over here are pretty bluish kind of um this is the reason why is because of the reflections uh, of our sky if we're going to use a different sky we might get different results so i would also suggest you to use different kind of agri maps and this is also going to give you different kind of results so that's uh, pretty nice as well um so maybe over here it's also a little bit too intense so that's something you should work at and it's just practice 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 may make a new light and maybe change that light to an orange color and maybe try making it intense first and then render it out and we'll see different results right away you can see uh, over here we get some nice kind of highlights which is actually pretty cool and i think we are there so this looking and uh, this kind of orange is really a lot of nice contrast against the blue color because these colors are the opposite of each other and it's really looking pretty nice so i'm going to decrease the color over here and maybe a little bit of the intensity change the shadow as well and try rendering it like so okay so this is not looking good anymore i'm going to move it just down a little and increase it okay what have i done <laughs> i lost the effect okay so i'm going to zoom it out just a little like so maybe okay and try it rendering like so okay so we got back our effect and yeah as you can see it's just experimenting with the positions of, of your lights the intensity and the colors so it's actually very simple to achieve something cool just by lighting it well and if you change one light on top of this and uh, with a bluer color, like bluish kind of uh, zoom like so. And if we're going to render this out, you will see again different kind of results. So this is actually basically on how to create some metal kind of looks your text you can use different textures also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my tutorials and if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below questions as well and thank you for watching and goodbye